Hi, I'm Callie Yanta, and welcome to the Minnesota Marriage Minute, where we examine issues related to the proposed marriage protection amendment. President Obama has said he has evolved and now supports same-sex marriage. Some polls say a majority of Americans are now supportive of gay marriage. Has the country turned against traditional marriage and become supportive of gay marriage? In a word, the answer is no, the country has not changed. President Obama appears to be engaging in politics when it comes to marriage. He was in favor of gay marriage before he was against it in his 2008 run for president. Now he's in favor of it again as he mounts his re-election campaign. It's interesting to note that some of the biggest financial backers of his re-election effort are gay marriage activists. In fact, it's been reported that as much as one-sixth of his fundraising comes from the gay community. But will President Obama's flip-flop on this issue impact how the country views gay marriage and impact the marriage amendment campaign in Minnesota? Again, the evidence says no. President Obama has opposed every marriage amendment in recent years, including Prop 8 in California and most recently the marriage amendment in North Carolina. Yet voters have passed them all. In fact, surveys right before the vote in North Carolina this past May showed that a plurality of Democrats supported the marriage amendment, including two to one support among African Americans, a majority of independents, and an overwhelming percentage of Republicans. The marriage amendment passed in North Carolina with 61 percent of the vote despite President Obama's opposition, and despite some surveys showing that amendment would be defeated. Public polling on the issue of same-sex marriage is also often skewed with pollsters asking if gay marriage should be legal or illegal. Of course, to the average voter, making something illegal implies that those who engage in the activity will face some sort of punishment. This legal versus illegal phrasing leads to false data about how people truly feel about marriage. The Alliance Defending Freedom, or ADF, conducted a nationwide survey last year and asked Americans if they agreed with this statement. I believe that marriage is only the union of one man and one woman. ADF found that 62% of Americans agreed with that statement in support of traditional marriage. It's interesting to note that the results of the ADF survey very closely mirror the actual votes cast by voters in the 32 states to have voted on the definition of marriage in America. Of those votes, 31 states considered proposed constitutional amendments defining marriage as the union of a man and a woman, and all 31 passed them. This includes blue states like California, Oregon, and Wisconsin. No state has ever voted in favor of gay marriage. In short, the American people are not turning against traditional marriage. We see that not only when legitimate survey questions are asked, but more importantly we see it when voters actually have the opportunity to go to the polls to cast ballots. In fact, Minnesota for Marriage's campaign managers have reported that 56% of voters in Minnesota support the Minnesota Marriage Protection Amendment. This is just a couple of points shy of where the North Carolina marriage amendment stood at a similar point in the campaign. And once again, that amendment passed with 61% of the vote this past May. If you'd like to learn more about the Marriage Protection Amendment, please go to minnesotaformarriage.com. I'm Callie Yanta. Thank you for watching.